up there. Well, hello everyone. Let me know if you can hear us in the chat. Can you guys hear us okay? Let me see here. Of course not. Uh, we got Dusty Bottom Boys. We got Follow Alaska. Okay. She has she has a lot going on her phone also, so we just confirming that uh, you guys can hear us. We have no audio problems. Nope. And I have my speakers and stuff turned off so we don't get that feedback going through. Because that's horrible. Yeah, that's annoying. <laughs> but uh, let's see here. We got Follow Alaska, Dusty Bottom Boys, Big Family Expedition. Uh, obviously, Flat Tire Farms, Homesteading Alaska is in the house tonight. <laughs> Uh, let's see here. Who else? Matt, seventeen ninety one garage, A.K. Dog Mom, South Carolina is here. Old school Alaska is here, and uh, Brick Bake is here. Well, thank you guys all for joining. <laughs> Obviously, the guests in the house. We were supposed to do this as a collab, but the software wasn't uh, cooperating tonight, so they decided just. What do we want to talk about tonight? I guess you guys tell everyone about your channel a little bit. We uh, have lived in Alaska most of our lives. Mr. Reeve has lived here his whole life. He was born in Fairbanks. And I moved here when I was three or four because my dad got stationed here in the Air Force. And our favorite things were camping. And one day we met and said, you like camping? And I said, yeah. And he said, I like camping. And so then we got married and decided to live in the woods. <laughs> laborious because we yeah. can. Let's go camping all the time. Make everything different. And have yeah. a farm. Yeah. <laughs> And raise goats, lots of goats. It's going to be baby goat season soon in like three weeks. Two weeks. Yeah. In two weeks we're having babies. Babies. Okay. I did ask them if they brought any kids with them. And they not said, yet. No, not yet. Not yet. No. No, no kids no. yet. So. No. But when the babies are born, I do take them um, with me when I leave during the day if I go to my office because um, they need to eat every four to six hours. And so I take them to That's my right. office. I work in a pediatric office. And then all the little kids get to get to bottle feed the goats and they are so excited about that so so they are mobile yeah. goats don't be fooled yeah. and it is good to uh, socialize them oh to gosh, other yeah. people oh sure okay let's see here we got uh, a couple more people in the house clint uh gilcrest is here rebecca oh, no. and uh big mama jane is in the house how are you guys hey big mama how you doing lady and uh, just uh Quick shout out, if you're not subscribed to these guys, Flat Tire Farm, Homesteading Alaska, please do so. And if you're not subscribed to my channel, My Alaska, also please go and subscribe and hit that thumbs up. Yeah, huh. Whoever's the moderator, is there any moderators? I'm usually I'm the uh, moderator. Just you are. But I'm not home. Yeah. <laughs> Today, uh, Streamlabs is moderating. Okay, so. that's fine. <laughs> so, anyone that does have a channel that wants to drop their links, you can type in exclamation mark my AK or exclamation mark Alaska and your link will show up. And if you want to, type the word weather, leave a space in your zip code and we can see what the weather is in your area. Right now, that was super windy. The wind yeah. just stopped and there was a few flakes in the air and it is 38 Point eight degrees outside right now at my place. It is so no way so yeah. yeah, it's yeah. snowing at our place. Yeah, up on the mountains and stuff, Boo. I figured it would be really coming down. Boo. So. Speaking of up in the pass, is John in there? Hey, I don't don't see. Oh, John in Alaska just joined. Oh, my handsome John. How are you, John? I bet he's got some snow up at his yeah. place. Yeah, John, how's the snow up at your place? And I see Brook Trout One is in the house. Woo! And Joe's is in the house. Yeah. I'm so glad he made it. I see uh, Cordless Toll is here too. The sound is really weird. Does it, anyone else have any uh, issues with the sound coming through? It's probably because I'm too loud, but that's a real life problem. Uh, flood warning in Western PA, I see. Oh. Ew, that's dumb. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, let's see here. If you guys have any questions for these two, please, uh, and since I have guests in the house, so on you to this point, 
that sure. type of thing? What started it all? Well, I think it's growing up here, you just learn to do things outside. You learn to play outside. You learn to be in the wilderness. Yeah. You learn to love camping. When your family doesn't have a junk ton of money, you don't like go to a tropical place for vacation, you go right. camping, right? And so that's something that we really, the whole time we dated, that's all we did. We just traveled Alaska and went camping, right. and so right. that was lovely. But we watched a show. This is the tin hat portion of our life, <laughs> so I will warn you. <laughs> one of them. Just one. one. Yeah, we'll one. Just one so we watched a show. <laughs> I think it's called Food, Inc., and it was on, I don't know yeah. what it was, on Netflix or something a long time ago. And basically it's talking about the commercial food system and commercially raised chickens and things like that. And so hence, after we watched that show, we only had half an acre. We lived in a cul-de-sac, and we had... Three pigs, two goats, meat chickens in the front yard, egg chickens in the back, a blueberry patch, a raspberry yeah. patch, a strawberry patch, a mushroom patch, and we turned our entire backyard, whatever there was garden. left of a half acre plot, into <laughs> a power line. We had a power line used behind our house, and the power line company comes every 10 years and clears out all the trees so that it's not a fire danger. If the wind knocks a tree down, it doesn't catch the, the electricity, hit the ground, catch it on fire, which is a big, is a big deal here. It happens every year, actually. Um, and so they came and cleared out all of the trees, and so we tilled it up and made it a potato patch. And right. we grew the biggest potatoes, we like grew, huge, yeah, ridiculous yeah. potatoes. Whatever they're putting in the power line yeah. trail, I'm telling you, that's the stuff you need to grow. It's all that electricity <laughs> going through. <laughs> <I'm telling you. laughs> all we so all of our, holes, right? all of our yeah. new potatoes, yeah. 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 And so <laughs> we just, when we waited for our kids to grow up, so until they were old enough, um, right. and then we came out. Uh, my family has a remote off-grid cabin, and we loved it. And we're like, oh, yeah. we could live like this, you yeah. know. We right. were sure we weren't just yeah. gonna retire at the cabin. Right. It's way, 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 way more off-grid than we have. Like, you can't yeah. just go down to the gas station to fill the water jug. Like, there, there are no roads to that cabin. No, there are no roads. <laughs> yeah, there's uh, in the winter you can get there by snow machine. In the summer, on the frozen river, there, right? You can get there by boat in the summer. Yeah, someone else that we know of up there. If you're rich, yeah. Yeah, or if you have emergency, like yeah. you know, all the people that live out right. really remote, there's a decent community, and you like keep track of one another. Hey, I'm heading out because it's 45 minutes on right. the frozen river, yeah, and right. every year people get wet in the river. Yeah. So, so there's a tight knit community. Hard has a place where you can get a puddle jumper out. Yeah, no. yeah. There is there is one of the neighbors out there. He he does have an airstrip. So yeah. So if there's an emergency, yeah, it's not paved. It's not like a paved airstrip. No, it's just a dirt. dirt yeah, we're strip. talking like a plane as big as a minivan. Okay. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> a super cub or yeah. what, crop dusters, yeah. basically, yeah. in a lower yeah. forty-eight. Yeah. So we love it. And, you know, people ask us sometimes, well, when are you gonna get a septic? And when are you gonna get sheetrock? And when are you gonna get all these real cul-de-sac things? And the reality of it is, is I had the big white house in the cul-de-sac. Like I yeah. had the whole thing. Um, we had more rooms than we had three bedrooms that we just stored full of stuff because we weren't using right. them and two bathrooms that we weren't using. Yeah. And I have had lived that life, and I'm not going to live that life. We're never going to have a septic. Someday, maybe, well, someday I'll have sheetrock, but um, but <laughs> we're not looking to replace that cul-de-sac life. We're looking yeah. to live a very different life than we've already right. lived. Yeah, so, I, I had a three-bedroom, two-and-a-half-bath right. townhouse. Right, and you're a single yeah. guy. Just... One bedroom was totally empty, and the other one had a bed, and that was it in it. Yeah, I <laughs> yeah. like it. And it's like, why do I need we all that? Had, we had a four-bedroom, two-and-a-half-bath house, but right. we had it full of kids, and then the kids slowly started right. reading, and And two yeah. family rooms and a garage and a shop and all the things, <laughs> yeah. and then I'll tell you, when you move off-grid and you move to the middle of the woods that has nothing, not even a driveway, you have to find a place for all that stuff. Yeah. We gave half of our stuff away. We gave all of our furniture away to a family that needed it. We gave half of the rest of our stuff away. And then when we came out and and came to the property, like, you couldn't drive onto our property no, because it was trees. The funniest and part. so we had to figure <laughs> out where to put all the stuff that you normally store outside, you know, like your, I don't know, what do you store outside? Like coolers and and uh, lawnmowers and right. all that stuff that you keep in outside storage or stuff you keep in a garage or a shop or a shed. Right. Honey, there ain't no place to store it out there. Yeah. So everything got covered with tarps. Or we have the nicest, sweetest neighbors on the planet, and they let us put all of our outside stuff in their yard. In their yard, yeah. It, yeah, it was a whole lot of stuff. It wouldn't have been so bad, but right before we moved out, you know, from this big house to this little cabin, so we got rid of a bunch of stuff. Some friends of ours had to sell their homestead. Yeah. And so 
<laughs> yeah, and so we ended up getting so much stuff from their homestead. We're like, yes, we need that. Yes, we need that. All too. these yes, really cool stuff, too. but no place to put it. Yeah. So that piles is, of stuff. That is yeah. kind of our our downfall. People have stuff on there like, I've got twenty seven old windows. Do you want them? Yes, definitely. Where are we gonna put those? I don't know, but we need them. Yeah. Okay. We call it ready fire aim. Ready fire yeah, aim. Yeah. Right. Definite. Yeah. Definite. Is there any questions? I haven't, seen any, I haven't seen any questions yet. Uh, True Blue Aussie Lisa W is here. Woohoo! Uh, let's see here. Billy. Lots of people. Thanks, thanks you yes. guys for coming and just. I mean, I hope I I'm doing it justice. I think that's all the new ones. All the new ones here. So thank you guys for being here. Yeah, awesome. And uh, yeah, if you got any questions, definitely shout them out. And put it in caps. Yeah, put them in caps because we won't see it otherwise. Too tiny like, like, for us, and we're old, right? <laughs> we are old. So. Yes. Yeah, but I'm saying 22 right up there. Let's scroll back. Oh, look at that. Right. You got. Oh no, it's just 24. 24. It's a little bit behind. <laughs> what are you doing? I don't know. And, and her name is Miss D, and she has a new channel. Okay. And she is Break Bakes. Okay. On here, and she is on the sidelines in the shadows, helping me be a better sourdough baker. And so she's going to. I don't know if they have any videos up just yet, but they are going to. Her and her husband are going to teach people all the knowledge that they have about sourdough bread. So if you guys don't, if you're not subscribed to her channel, she's just starting out. So support her and go check out Break Bakes. If you want to learn how to make sourdough bread. And break bakes, please type in exclamation mark Alaska and your channel link will show up. <laughs> Dusty has a question. Dusty, oh, uh, the wall, uh, where's Dusty. the cookies? Where's the cookies, he says. <laughs> you ain't here yet. When you're here, we'll talk about cookies, but I don't see so you, Dusty. Dusty gets cookies, but I don't get no cookies. You're, yeah, Dusty's new. We don't even rate. Fine. I'm old. You're fine. <laughs> I might make cookies. I might make cookies on Sunday because I really owe John some Snickerdoodles for like a month and a half now. <laughs> he needs a double batch. I'll tell you okay. that much. Uh, another question I just saw. Uh, 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 Crystal and Mr. Reeve, are you guys having a video this week? Are we having a video this week? Probably. Yeah. So I think what people don't understand is Mr. Reeve and I work both full time off farm jobs, and yeah. so we're doing all the things all the time, and so. Yeah. We were killing ourselves and trying to make multiple videos um, on a weekend, but the weekend is the only time that we have to make videos. I do have, um, tomorrow I plan to shoot a, I have to clean out the cold room because I need to get it cleared out for the next harvest and it's planting season and all the things that need to get done. And if I don't process what's in the cold room now, it's going to go to the pigs. And so... Can I tell them what you're going to make? Yeah, sure. Tell them. She's going to pre-make... Breakfast potatoes. Whoop, whoop. I'm excited about yeah. this one. Yeah, so I'm gonna can up. So I'm gonna can potatoes at least three different ways. Cause how many pounds of potatoes did we get last year? Almost enough. All, like 465. <laughs> 465 pounds of potatoes we got. Not last as much year. as Josh got. No, Josh got 1800. Yeah. We're, we're yeah, gonna, that's a lot. I'm trying to talk Crystal into it. We're trying to beat him this year. We don't need 1800 potato. 1800 yeah. pounds of potatoes. Anyway, so I'm gonna. We still probably have like 180 pounds of potatoes left. So I'm going to process the potatoes, and that's definitely a video that's going to go up. I don't think that we're go ready to do the next stage of the outhouse this weekend, but my goal yeah. is that we will have at least two videos that we're shooting this weekend. So hopefully we will have um, maybe a video by Sunday and then a, another one in the middle of the week. Um, as we get closer to summertime, towards the end of June, I'm going to retire from my office job, which nobody knows. Um, and so I will be home more, so there will be more videos. But right now, we're just doing everything yeah. we can do, yeah. And the other thing that's really uh, big, Lake, and we've been getting ready for that. Yeah, so I've been making soap. So when I, as I retire from my, my off-farm job, my new on-farm job whoop, whoop, is making goat's milk soap. And that's where I've been pouring a lot of my time into that. Um, and it's not necessarily something. Sometimes people want me to make a soap video, but it doesn't really fit on our channel very well. I'll probably highlight it, but I'm not going to do a how to make soap video on our channel. It doesn't really fit. Um, but it's possible that I will start a new channel 
if I can find free time and hate my life and never want to have a moment for myself. If you want her to do that, tell us in the chat. They all want yeah, me to. Do. Anything that's kiss for videos. But it will be um, Flat Tire Farm Soaps. That's going to be the company anyway. So by May 15th, we'll have those things on sale on the website. And after that, then I will work on starting a new channel. And then after that will be the meetup that we're having right. July 13th. And Bill and I are organizing that. Yep. And so next December, I will get an app. <laughs> yeah, we're going to be bored this summer. Nothing to do. Yeah. And we're raising baby goats. <laughs> and there's yeah. another thing. I'm so glad that you guys are here because you get to hear all the inside secrets that we haven't told everybody yet. So we are, as of March of last year, the state of Alaska has agreed that in a limited quantity or certain regulations, people can sell raw milk. And so we are going to be selling raw milk. What are we selling? Raw milk, raw goat's milk, raw butter, butter and farm cheese. And farm cheese. Whoop, whoop. Yep. And so that's a whole other thing we're taking on. And so we'll get that. There's just a lot of projects that are going on in our life right now. Like, I don't know how many hours I've spent making labels. Like, <laughs> it's a full-time job. Yeah. So, so and then remember, you guys, I was sick for a while. Like, I was really sick. But the good news is I'm not sick anymore. I'm perfectly perfect. I had, <laughs> I had heart issues that went away. So, thank you, God, for that. But then I ended up with back-to-back -back pneumonia, which you guys probably <laughs> don't know. <laughs> so, then I, I got, yeah, I got, I got strep. And then back to back pneumonia. <laughs> yeah. So that's why they're having that I have the plague. And so. <laughs> <laughs> but it is part of life. It is so, part of life. Uh, but that's really yeah. why our videos have been like not coming out at all because I was really sick. And I'm still recovering a little bit, like I need more sleep than normal. But other than that, we're back on track and we're going to make sure that we get you at least one video a week, if not more, if we can. So, okay, one well, thing you. Kind of skipped over oh, sure. and didn't mention at all. I'm hiding secrets? I can't believe it. Well, you guys started something last summer and mm -hmm. didn't get around to doing it. What did, What was it? The barn. Oh, What's yeah. going on with the oh barn? Come so, on, tell us. So all the things that I just said that we're doing, <laughs> that's all secondary to the main priority, which is to get a barn built, which will be the third year in a row that that's been the main priority. So Bill is extremely lovely and he's our very good friend and i don't know we probably talk every day oh um, yeah every day. every day and so bill came over it was fall of last year bill came over and he's like listen i'll bring my excavator i'll clear all this land for you don't worry about renting an excavator don't i'll just come and do it so he came and did that for us and that was great and we thought okay maybe we can at least get the footers in for the barn well we didn't get the footers in because when bill was pulling off all the, all the overburden, all like the, the moss and stuff that was on the ground, it was soup underneath. Like yeah, it yeah. was just mud because last Super summer last was not yeah. summer. Last summer was rain monsoon. and more rain. Yeah, it was like monsoon season. Last summer, which <laughs> yeah. we, don't know, we don't really have a monsoon season. <laughs> we did so, last year. So that was a new thing. Yeah. yeah, so it couldn't have even, yeah. So hopefully since we got all the overburden off, it will drain now, hopefully. And then we'll be able right. to just level it out a little bit more and be able to put stuff in for the barn. Yeah. We do have a lot. You've milled a lot of the lumber for the barn. Yeah. Yeah, we did use a good we bit of it for the outhouse. We have stolen some of that, you know, because we build the animal pens, and then we we're building the outhouse. And Dusty Bottom Boy says, the rest of the world is outlawing raw milk. Alaska is like, here, hold my beer. Yes. That's <laughs> Yes. Yeah. Yeah, we can't. I, you have to put labels on it. Like, like it's only once it comes out of the animal, you have to. It has to be drinking in four days, or you have to put it on the bottle that it expires right. within four days. Yeah, and I would tell you that it, I don't know about raw cow milk, but raw goat milk, you really have about six days in real life. Right. It's not like this. You can stick it in the fridge for a month, or right. I don't know how you, long regular milk is good for. You got a week, milk. you know. You got a week basically. Yeah. That's yeah. the last time we bought but, milk. A couple of years. I don't know. A couple of years we bought milk. Well, I don't even know. So however long regular milk is in the fridge, this is I'd, very different. I'd rather have our milk than the milk from the store. Uh, I know. Yeah, really so you good. get sick. So, um, it's, they basically, it comes down to labeling. They want you to yeah. label it that, you know. You might not. have to say that it's not inspected. Okay. This is not inspected. Yeah. So you have to have all the disclaimers. Like if we sell it at, yeah. at our booth, we have to have a sign that says, you know, has to have you'll all probably die. Have some. Yeah, you're probably gonna die. <laughs> but drink it anyways. Yeah. 
I, I, I've seen pictures where people are selling raw milk and they just put real big letters right on it, not for human consumption. Right. Yes, yeah. the meaning of the state laws. Yeah, meaning uh, yeah. baby goats. Yeah, yeah. Milk and like, stuff yeah. like that. But uh, yeah, honestly, some, what they do with it when they take it home. Yeah, is their business, right? Yeah. In some states, that's not a lot. And Alaska is really great in that yeah. there's this whole category of things that you can sell that don't. If you look on a state website, it'll tell you. Cottage foods are things like um, high acid canned goods, sauces, breads, um, breads and baked, and baked goods. goods. Yeah. yeah, there's this whole list of things. Yeah. And, it, and let's say I'm going to sell something that I'm not sure if it's going to be <coughs> the right acidity or the right um, dehydrated. It has to be dehydrated to 99%. And you can send it into a lab here and they will test it for you and give you your approval. So that's pretty cool. Yeah, I, mean, I don't is. think you can do that everywhere. No, I doubt it. Yeah, you, there's a whole, it. and we can sell like, I don't know, 20,000 chickens and a whole bunch of stuff you can sell without a whole lot of regulation. Right. Yeah, you're right. So that is quite freeing, actually. Unfortunately, more regulations are coming well, they, every I was, year. I was surprised that they just let us do raw milk. That was That's a yeah. new thing. Yeah. I mean, people yeah. have always done milk shares here, but, but this right, is a little right. different. Right, right. To get around it, you know, yeah. they would sell herd shares, you know, but... Yeah. And I guess some regulations are going away. I just found out the Matsu Borough, you don't need a business license anymore. <laughs> yeah. Right? Yeah. After we just paid for business licenses. Yeah. 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 I paid for a business license like a, a week before it went away or 10 days before it went away, unfortunately. But you don't need a business license anymore, so that's good. You don't need, uh, outside of the two cities, you don't need building permits in the Matsu Borough anymore. So, I guess there are some benefits or some good things happening. Yeah. Regulations are going away in some areas, but in others, they're not. But Somebody yeah. asked about, let's see, let's see what else they're asking about. <laughs> what is about the cookies, you guys? Can you leave me alone about the cookies? Let's see here. Brick, <laughs> Brick Bank says, thank you, Crystal. We appreciate the support. The editing is going to take some YouTube watching for sure. Oh, yes, yeah. Definitely. Yeah, it does. That's a whole, <laughs> that's a whole month of investing of time learning how to edit a video. Yeah. And Mike McKinley says, hey, Crystal, I love your baking and cooking videos. Oh, great. Great. And we love you, Mr. Mike, and we are praying for you to get better, sir. Yes, sir. You are part of our dinner time prayer, my sweet friend. Uh, big Family Expedition says, so Mike, uh, they are supposed to be getting a fiber out here to my area in the next couple years. And whenever that does come, I'm definitely going to hook up to fiber. But until then, I'm stuck with Starlink and there's unfortunately nothing much I can really do about it. Yeah, I think people assume that, I guess, I didn't realize because I've lived here forever, so I don't know anything but this place, you know. That everywhere else you can, there's always signal, right? right but there's right. not always signal where we're at in Alaska. You can drive down the road half an hour down the road in four different spots you'll lose signal like yeah. there's a road from here to wasilla that we it's like reeves like i can't hear you i can't hear you and i'm yeah. screaming cherry lake cherry lake because at cherry lake road the signal drops right. and and right in houston the signal drops and yeah. you know it's like and so we're using there's no at&t towers here there's old um acs towers which is an old alaska company that started cellular yeah. service here <clears throat> And they have all the towers, and they stopped selling. They stopped doing cell service uh, per to to individuals, and now they just lease their towers out to other companies. You know, people tell me, "Well, you have Verizon there, and you have whatever." Yeah. And guess what? Bad that. news. Then yeah. So and it and it cycles through different times of the day when you know it's like seven o'clock at night. All the cellular magic is getting used up, and I don't have any. <laughs> right. And and so so yeah. So there's lots of places in Alaska where there just isn't signal. And I'll tell you, our house is one of those places. Yeah. We do have a cell phone booster, and there's one one cell tower that we can connect to, and that's all there is. Yeah. There's just one. Yeah, that area is a. That whole little neighborhood is a kind of a dead area. Yeah, and if, if yeah. at the front of our driveway, we have a, I don't know, half a mile or third mile driveway. If you're at the front of our driveway, there's nothing. You can't send a text message. Right. You can't send anything right. until you get all the way inside our house where the cell phone booster is, and then you can send 
can always send a text message and sometimes you can send images and sometimes you yeah. can upload a video. That's like it is at my remote cabin. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Same yeah. thing. Because we, I don't know why, I don't know if it's because we're at the base of the mountain or whatever, but, but when it's cloudy out, we get better signal than when it's sunny. Yeah. I don't know why. Signals but, bounce off the clouds. Well, the there we, we have. Currently have and planning on getting this year. Okay, so we have. Goaties. We have lots of goats. We have we have almost enough. 12, 12 goats. We need like twenty. Lots of them are gonna have babies, and Gretel looks like a house, so she may have, might have triplets this year. Yeah. <clears throat> and we have, of course, the berries, Juniper and Holly, the big white fluffy yeah. dogs. Um, they're our livestock guardian dogs. They roam around our property. Um, they only get on a leash when they're in real big trouble, like when they go. <laughs> visit the neighbor's mushing dogs at four in the morning and I get a call from the neighbors at four in the morning, then they get a leash, yeah. then they're in big trouble. Um, we have, what else do we have? Three geese and a raven. If you guys watched the, the last video we posted, we have Juniper's friend, a raven, we named him Jack Sparrow, okay, because why not? So, so Jack Sparrow is like hanging out at our house all the time and he is friends with Juniper and it's <coughs> hilarious. Right. And then we have what? Four really old, like, old, decrepit chickens. Yeah. They're just living they're out their retirement things, at our yeah. house. They're living out their retirement. Oh, well, we have three or three pigs. Three pigs. We yeah. have Porcini, who is a heritage breed Tamworth, and he's beautiful, and he's going to go to the freezer camp real soon. Actually, yeah, we better figure that out. And then we have two full, full-bred um, Cooney Coonies. Um, so we're way bigger than they should be. Ginger and Clementine, and they're the <laughs> nicest pigs ever. They don't bite you. You can give them kisses and snuggles. You can scrub their tummies, and they'll lay on their back like a dog. They're the nicest pigs ever. Sure. Yeah, we're going to do rabbits. We're yeah. not exactly sure what we're going to do with them, but we will bring you guys along. And we have big plans for, like, whole chicken hatching craziness. <laughs> Yeah, all yeah. the things. And, that'll probably start next year. Yeah, right. yeah, because we have enough. We're doing this year, and and we're gonna try to incubate geese eggs again this year. Oh, we've got six. Did you eggs. ever do that today? No, I got a bunch of that incubator. <laughs> Ooh, mama. If you know a goose incubator like those guys sit in there for a long time and you can't like take it out to scrub the thing out, it gets right. dirty. Right. Yeah. I see uh, Matt A. Kenny join. Hi, Matt. Hey, Matt. Whoop, whoop. And I think I mentioned everyone else. Again, if you have any questions, please uh, type them in all caps so they stand out a little bit better and we can see them. My Monica! I see my Monica! Yeah. Hey, Monica yeah. Lynn is here. How are you? Hi, Monica. Let's see. I'm going to scroll. You guys talk. I'm going to scroll okay. and look for questions. Pretty much you're probably just talking about us behind our back. We don't even know it. Is we're yeah. chit-chatting away. Yeah, we still have a lot of snow on the ground. So, yeah. uh, I would say uh, about 30 inches <laughs> on yeah. the ground. Yeah, there's tons of snow still. Yeah. It's getting hard packed, though. Yeah, it, and, and it's, cold. it's getting uh, uh, very like fluffy between. There's like no yeah. no structure between. Yep. So, if you step down, you just like drop down through yep. real easy. Yep. It's uh, melting down underneath as all the yeah, top water is yeah. running down through. So, what about you? What What are you doing animal wise this year? Yeah. <laughs> uh, I definitely want to get some chickens. I hope to get some rabbits. Yeah. And I don't know if I'll get a breeding pair of pigs to breed for next year, or yeah. if I just get one this year and then one next year, or exactly how that's gonna happen. The Idaho pasture pigs. Yeah. yeah. The guy I was gonna get them off of, uh, he should have one, at least one to give to me this year. He doesn't know exactly when he's gonna be pulling his, or getting his other shipment of pigs up, because he wants two totally unrelated sets of pigs. Right, right. And I'm supposed to get one from each, so. Cool. And he doesn't know when he's getting that other set up here. Yeah. They're, you, it's in the works, but... If you start breeding pigs, do let us know. We'll yeah. swap things out. Yeah. Yeah. So I do yes. plan on breeding them. And then, obviously, I can't eat 12 pigs or whatever no. a litter has. Yeah. But I can eat uh, one or two throughout the year. Yeah. I do plan on having a, a pig roast. Yeah. You know, with them. Like, over a spit. 
open fire, yeah. Yeah. rotating. Yeah. 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 I do plan on doing that. And then uh, the rest, probably sell to family and friends. Yeah, lots of people, the people that we bought, that we got all that homestead stuff from when we moved first out to the property, they sold right. their pigs in halves and holes before they were even fully grown. Yeah. And so that, and people just came in, like, you can't butcher it without it being a, pr- uh, uh, what is it, an FDA approved facility or right. whatever you call it, I don't know, an inspected facility is, just yeah, in just, Delta, which yeah. is six hours away from here. Okay, right, yes. not, not an option. Yeah, so if you, what they did is they sold them. Um, has a live holes, animal. And you bring, you come here, we'll, you can butcher it at our house. Right. And so they kind of did it that way, right. and that way they could still sell it for a decent yeah. price. If you sell them a live animal or a share in a live animal, they get to do whatever they want with their own live animals. Right, so they right. would just have like a butcher yeah. set up at their house. Yeah, that's basically what I, yeah. here's three it's live right pigs, you want one? Yeah, I don't know of anybody doing that right now. And then uh, you get to do whatever you want with it, and if you want it, uh, we can take care of it right here. Yeah. Right. Send it to freezer camp here with your assistance or whatever. Dusty, right. when are you coming? Do you want Dusty? When are you coming? That's what I want to know. When am I making Charlie cookies? <laughs> <laughs> Everybody's getting cookies in here except me, y'all. Yeah. Oh, Brook Trout One has seventy. Two car eggs in that incubator. I think that's that's how you spell it. Or say it, I mean. C H U K A R is how he spelled it. He might might have mistyped it. How many watts of power does it use? Because that's the question before I can have anything. (laughs) He might have meant chicken. Oh. But I don't know. No, I've heard of that before. I I was assuming that's probably like a breed of chicken. I just don't know. That's what I would assume. So. We have those old, super old styrofoam box looking incubators. Ours doesn't even have like a digital thermometer on it. And it takes like what? Less than 40 watts or something like something that of like power. Yeah. And we have only a, a 2,000 watt system at our house. So we have to keep track of all the watts of all the things. Yep. And not and not push more than 2,000 watts at any given time. Dusty Bottom Voice says, not soon enough, Miss Crystal. That's right. Get your hiney here. Let's go. Yeah. And uh, let's see here. Everyone's thanking Monica for posting links. Thanks, so thank, Monica. Thanks, Monica. <laughs> Old School Alaska is here. How are you <laughs> tonight? And I don't think I missed Mike McKinley says, poor Mr. <laughs> poor Mr. Reeve, no cookies. I feel bad sure, for no you. No cookies, y'all. Nothing. <laughs> <clears throat> Can you hear the words? Of my mind right now You're about right. the cookies. <laughs> 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 This is a G-rated program. Right. Yes, it is. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Reeve. What are you? Who cooks you dinner every night? Most nights? Yes. Oh, yeah, you cooked dinner yeah. the other night. I did good, too. You did do good, yeah. Mm. Yeah. Okay, who okay. cooks dinner 364 nights? <laughs> <laughs> That's you. Yes. Yeah. So for all y'all that are like, he needs cookies. I'll tell you something. He gets cooked dinner every night, and not one night is it ever from a box. Yeah, I ain't starving. <laughs> <That's true. laughs> uh, let's see here. Dusty Bottom Boys. I don't know what it is. Y'all, can, you can Google faster than me. Y'all yeah. tell me what that thing is. You know what nobody has up here? Ostriches. Besides that? <laughs> that was a good, yeah, that's I know. good. Mm. No guinea I'm hens. Not. Right. No. When I worked in Texas, everybody had them guinea hens, and they're just... Squawking and carrying on all the time. Yeah, I was surprised. Thank you, Mike. I do make awesome dinners. Thank you. <laughs> when I was back in Pennsylvania, I was driving around the school district, and I went past a uh, like a farm, and they had a, three or four guineas out in the one field. Was walking around. I'm not sure which property they belonged to because they were free oh, ranging. Oh, that's right. Ribs. Right, Ray, right. You made ribs once. Who made the rest of the dinner? <laughs> oh, does he? You on the list now. Only Charlie's getting cookies, just so you know. Only Charlie. Yeah, but you don't like <laughs> look it for dinner tonight on our video. We're gonna make broccoli with a side of ribs. That's not how you do that. Right? That's true. <laughs> That's true. Yeah, who yeah. made all this sauce? Mike McKinley things? says, Yes, Crystal. You make awesome dinners that uh, they have seen our videos. Oh guinea hens. Oh, Dusty says guinea hens can't ship to Alaska. Oh, really? 
That probably would be why. That explains it. Well, I don't know. <laughs> One time, we all had this great idea. We was going to drive through Canada all the way on the side and pick some stuff up and come back. That didn't yeah. happen. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> we can do it. We'll sleep in the truck for three and a half weeks. Yeah. Build a makeshift camper on the back of it. Oh, we had it all figured out. All figured out. I did? Oh, yeah. Dusty, you can... All right. You're not, I'm not mad at you no more. He remembers. I made the potato salad in the snow so it would cool down. Yeah. That's right. Good job. He wins. All right. <laughs> <laughs> you guys are funny. Between the, uh, him and Mike McKinley, they're going to get cookies away for I do. Yeah. <laughs> yeah huh. I'm making cookies, you guys. I'm making lots of cookies for the meetup. And for John. Okay. Yeah, and for John. And for you. I'll probably make some cookies for Bill. I'll get the leftovers from what she makes for y'all. <laughs> the odd-shaped ones. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, that's those right. Are, those oh, are cool. crap. I left this this batch in uh, yeah, a minute too long, years, and they got a little bit burnt. Yeah. These are the dad cookies all yeah, the time. That's right. Yeah. yeah. He, gets, he gets the ugly ones, but that's okay. He can handle it. So he speaking of the mid up, uh, yeah, meet yeah. up, yeah, yeah. July 13th at Meadow Lakes Park. It's an all day event. Yep. We're planning on two meals. Yep. The first one, I don't know, around 11 o'clock ish or so. Yeah. No times are set cast in stone or anything. Yep. And the second one would probably be three or four in the afternoon. And we're working on uh, getting uh, giveaways. Lots of giveaways. Yeah. Yep. So there's, we got a few things in the works. Yes, we're yeah. working on more things in the works. Yeah. So if you all have channels and you want to donate swag or something with your name on it or get some exposure, we're making sure that everyone has an opportunity to put a placard or a little sign by the item that they've donated. You can talk about your item that you're, you know, like I have people sending me stuff for things that, that they're trying to sell or um, a channel that wants some exposure. We'll make a little card for you. We'll put a QR code that can get, um, as people walk by and look at the prizes, they can get to your channel or get to your whatever, Amazon link or I don't care what. So right. there is some potential for exposure for that. Um, and so we're looking for lots of sponsors to do giveaways because that's fun. You're right. Yeah. You're right. And we plan on spreading out the giveaways throughout the day. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, because so. you ain't all just going to come and eat a burger and then get a prize and leave. We ain't doing that. Right, right. <laughs> Exactly. You have to hang out with us. <laughs> and it's not just for, for Alaska you. channels. So if you guys know of any channels that are happen to be up here on vacation on July 13th, yeah, yeah. let them know and have them uh, get in touch with Crystal or myself. Yeah. And or even just viewers. We yeah, had a viewer viewers. up from all the way from Alabama last yeah. year. Yeah. yeah. Ooh, Mike, I don't know if I can send. I have sent soap to Canada, and I'll tell you. I sent a priority, a tiny little priority mailbox, which in um, in the United States it cost eight dollars to send it. When I sent it to Canada, it was like thirty two dollars. Like <laughs> so yeah, I didn't know that was gonna happen, and I tried to send somebody something, and I was like, oh, because it was like ten dollars worth of stuff inside the box, and it was thirty two dollars <laughs> to send it, and I yeah. sent it because I was gonna keep my word, but um. I don't know, Mike, that I'm going to be able to do that. I mean, I have some friends that live in Indiana. If you want to, like, meet halfway, you can probably drive. But that, <laughs> that's about as close as we can get. Um, I'll see what I can do about figuring that out. Because, yeah, $32 is insane. It, it is ridiculous. I know a guy that has a channel. And drive on up, Mike. you got three months to plan up. <laughs> he, yeah, he drive off, over. I'll meet you too. Yeah. He often will drive across the border into the United States, and he has a post office box there. It's cheaper for him to do it that way when he's huh. setting yeah. a hat or a mug or something like that. He'll drive down to the states just across the border, oh, go to his post office box, and mail everything out there. For Mike, for Mike and Misty, they're both asking about um, about shipping soap to Canada. What I'll probably end up doing is. I'll leave the option there on the website as long as I legally can ship soap to Canada. Um, I don't know. I did, so mm -mm. I don't know. I'm not in prison for that, so that's okay, I guess, maybe. But 
Um, but if it's legal for me to, to ship soap to Canada, then I will leave it. Um, when I build the website, I'll put in there shipping to Canada, and it will calculate for you what the shipping would be. I mean, if you really want to spend $30 to buy a bar of soap. $1 million. $1 million. Yeah. I mean, that, I'll, I'll make sure there's an option for you. And if I find out that I can't do an option for you, I will contact you directly, and we will work out some magic. Okay. Yeah, I won't. I won't leave you in the shower without soap, okay? <laughs> it's making money, guys. It's fine. Drive over there and have a bunch of <laughs> soap in the trunk of my car. Hey. <laughs> so, another question. How long have you been on your current property? We moved to it in 2020. We bought it in 2018. Yeah. And, and when, when did you start your channel? 2021 or 22. Two. What year is it? Yeah, we were really young and we did not we did not start no. the channel before we built the cabin. Yeah, we I'll tell you, I will make exactly the same choice again about not starting our channel until we did because, like, I was living in a camper, cooking for people outside on the woods, on the on the fire pit, freezing to death. We had Ray's working all day long. We had a lovely friend that came and stayed with us. Yeah. And he worked all day in Anchorage, which is two hours away, then framing. And then he'd drive all the way out to Willow to come back and help us frame our house. And we didn't move into our house till October 16th. And I don't know if y'all know this, but it gets cold in September. <laughs> like, it was 40 degrees inside our house. And we wore our winter there was no gear, insulation. And I wore my fur hat and my snow pants to bed with seven we, blankets. We like, had insulation, like but it was in the driveway. Alaska. Still, still bundled yeah. up in the driveway. <laughs> like John and Alaska. Yeah, that's yeah. probably how he grew up. This probably ain't nothing to him, but no way. That that was rough. Like I cried, and I'm a tough lady. Like, but hooey mama, there was tears involved that winter. Yeah. So there was no way we could have done a channel because there was not one more second in our life. You know, I'm trying to take a take a shower with a gallon jug of water. You know, standing outside like that ain't the funnest thing. In case you don't know. So there's just we were just trying to survive. There was no way we could have done a channel. There's right. no way. And we still we had didn't all have the animals. power. We still had all the animals. No, we had okay. we had a solar panel like plugged yeah. into our refrigerator that was inside a tarp. Like that was all. That was yep. that was all we had for food storage. Okay, uh, Monica Lynn has a question. What you got, Miss Monica? She says, "Do you, you all have kids?" Uh, ages and stuff like that. I don't have any kids. You guys can answer that however you guys want. Oh, yeah. Ours are all grown. They're yeah. everywhere from Florida to yeah. New York. And New yeah, York, so, yeah, so we have three boys and one young lady, and they are not part of our channel, and we love them. And they're just grown. We're, we're grown. old yeah. and want to live in the woods, and they don't want to. Yeah. Yeah, and so, <laughs> so that's yeah. that. <laughs> we live our crazy lives as 12 year olds without children and yeah. i've known you you've had kids for a while i've never even met them yet so yeah 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 so they're like you're gonna live as in the woods as soon as we moved into the woods yeah. they're like Phew, they disappeared we're going to work for <laughs> mom and yeah we ain't doing this <laughs> and fine. the kids were raised so when we when we moved from the big house our new our cabin has one bedroom, so yes, <laughs> our bedroom. <laughs> Eventually, we'll have we'll have some Airbnb cabins. Uh, yeah, oh, you're telling all the secrets up today. Up on the the property, and they can stay yeah. there. Woo, woo. Here's yeah. another secret because all y'all have been here this whole time, and I love you, and I'm so glad that you came to visit us. Here's a secret you don't know. When you, you if you've watched any of our videos, we come down our driveway. We have that ocean boat that's sitting on the side, right? It's just chilling out there, right? It's just, it's an it's ocean boat be, along yeah. the driveway, okay? And we got that for free because we're like, we're going to make a chicken coop out of it. We're going to call it Chicken of the Sea. Okay, this is what happens on our ranch. Why do we have so much stuff on our property? But when we build the Airbnbs, our plan is to put that, to build that out where it has bunks underneath because it's big enough. Um, what's that called? The under front of a boat? The bow? No. Uh, oh, oh, you mean. Uh, In the front. Anyways. In the berth. That. Yeah. Yeah. In that part of the boat, we're going to put bunks and stuff under there, and we're going to call it the skipper's cabin, and little kids can go in there and hang out and camp out in there. I'm going to get a big brass steering wheel for it. It's going to be so cool. So that's going to be the skipper's cabin when we do the Airbnbs. I don't know about the brass steering wheel, but it's going to happen. We'll see. It'll probably cost more to get up here than soap does to get to Canada. Oh, my gosh. That is accurate. Listen, I'll tell you about the shipping. 
Real quick. Anybody in Canada has a brass steering wheel yeah. for a boat. Yeah. Boxes to come up here. They're just made of cardboard. They wanted to charge me $150. And the, like, serious to ship it here. And the boxes only cost $100. <laughs> That's every day of our life. Yeah. Okay. Mike McKinley says, I love Flat Tire Farm. Flat Tire Farm. Uh, Farms Channel, a part of my family now, Aww. and I'm trying to get more people to join. Thanks, Mike. We, we love this way, Mike. Yeah. Break back, or <laughs> breaks back, bake, yes. has thumbs up. Yep. Uh, Billy Sutton, Crystal can't be old enough to have adult kids. Thanks, you're my best friend. Who said that? They're going to get cookies before me now, too. Oh, Billy Sutton is my best friend. <laughs> you're always so sweet, Billy Sutton, yeah. Yeah, and with kind to me that you are just so sweet and you're a wonderful person and I appreciate you so much. So, that's okay, though. Dusty Bottom Boy says that outhouse is big enough for him to stay in. We're so, thinking about how to... For me and Charlie to live in. So A multi-purpose room. It could be a multi-purpose room. Disco ball. Yeah, <laughs> one, one purpose and two purpose. <laughs> oh, those purposes. Got it! <laughs> I, I'm hoping tell us this more weekend. about the Airbnb. Okay, oh. Misty, I'll tell you about the Airbnb. We have all these plans that are so much bigger than all the resources <laughs> and all the time we ever have in our entire life. And that actually was one of the reasons that Bill and I and Mr. Reed decided that we were going to drive all the way to the other side of Canada and sleep in a truck for three and a half weeks. Right. Because we were going to go get some cabin cabins. Yeah, cabin kits. Yeah. yeah, but anyways... So the, the answer to that is we don't know, but people are going to come there, and you're going to get the pet a goat. That's, right. that's the yeah. two priorities. You can sleep there and pet goats. But you need to uh, get your yoga certification so you can teach goat yoga. yoga. No. Mm-mm. No. You do yoga, and we'll just let the goats go. And we'll jump <laughs> Ain't on nobody going to come to my house and get paid and watch me be in a leotard, I'll tell you that much. <laughs> <laughs> and I think I answered Monica's question now, so... A lot of people were getting on my case and I skipped cookies. over it, so. But I did, I did see it. I was just waiting for the time. Oh, waiting for me to be quiet. That never happens, though. No. He knows. <laughs> he knows. Okay, Monica. Have a good night. Thanks for being here. Bye, Miss Monica. Good night. Hot tub. What about a hot tub? Something's going on. <clears throat> I'm hoping to have a hot tub here someday. Yeah, we out can in the have, woods. We can have a boardwalk going out to but Out of an old like chest freezer. I'd like, like to have a wood fire hot tub out of the cedar wood going around and then a piece that sits down in the water. There, yeah. Yeah, I, t- I can tell you I don't have any. What those is around here, you have to build a fire every morning and every night. Hey, Mr. Ray, how are you? I'm happy hey, to see you. Hey, Ray, Mr. Said, how, Ray? Asked how are you? Thanks for being here. Are you gonna come to the um to the meetup again this year, Mr. Ray? I'm sure he will, but we need a confirmation. Oh, you're getting in trouble. You didn't send the email yet. Ooh. Yeah, and I I had a list of a few people, and I'm not sure if I what happened with the list. So I'm asking everybody. No, it's I I keep a list on a spreadsheet. Oh, you left yeah. it on your own then. Yeah. So <laughs> oh, it was all my fault. He says I may. I'm waiting uh, for her to get a little bit closer before I make a final commitment. Okay. And people are saying hi to Ray. Ray's in Alaska. Mr. Ray. (coughs) Yeah, I'm looking forward to this meetup. Yeah. Hoping to get uh, a lot more people, a lot more channels. We had about 40 people there last year. So, it was uh, a good time. 20 was channels good. or something like that. Yeah. And for our time. first one, it was a good time. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Now, last year we brought Little Daisy, the goat. Yeah. We do plan on oh, bringing yeah. more little baby goats little this year. goat attendees, for That's sure. Right. <laughs> so, bring your kiddos that can pet a goat. Yeah. And there's a playground right beside the pavilion for kids. Yeah. So, yeah. if you have kids, there's enough to do. And chances are the big uh, ball field won't be used. Again this summer, so if they want to run around and throw the ball around or kick the ball around, whatever. Yeah. Hey, Brian Brian from the Vineyard Farmhouse, how are you? 
Fancy. Uh, Yeah, uh, let's see here. What, what else? else? What, what else? else? Can we Rope trout? trout? You don't have to be a kid to pet a goat. Nope. No, you do not. No. Yeah. No. He says, I'm like a kid. You can. Yeah. <laughs> what about your garden this year? Same place, oh. same. Yeah, basically, same place. We have. So many things. To some do. some more added. So. Yeah. We, yeah, we made a bad call. No. We, uh,. We set up that cool Quonset hut as, as a greenhouse, and we best greenhouse ever, by the way. Yeah, and we left it in the in the uh, garden, which was okay, but we didn't clear the snow out to get to it to e- easily keep the snow off. Right. So I was about to snowshoe in there and clear it off. I looked at it the one day; it was fine. The next day, Collapsed. when I was going to go in there. <laughs> So, yeah, so. Yeah, and that was like a steel square frame yeah. building, and it just. Yeah, so not only do we have to. So, when we put the garden, we have a big garden. It's like 100 by 50, and then there's another section that is an orchard. Well, it's supposed to be an orchard, but orchard mostly. A little bunch of bunch dead, dead trees, tree but that's the story for another day. <laughs> Um, we'll make another go at it. But there's so much snow that builds up over the winter time because it never thaws enough for the snow to melt. And it just stacks up and stacks up and stacks up. And Willow has huge amounts of snow. I think we're like, I don't know, second in the world or something like yeah, that. For we, can, we can easily have five feet of snow on the ground. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. And, and that would be packed in snow, too. And the first year that we lived here, we got 21 feet of snow that year. So the first winter that we lived out here. But the snow just builds up and builds up. And as it kind of warms up, it'll pack snow. down. But it doesn't ever melt and go away yeah. until it stops snowing and stops getting um, below freezing. And so we can't even get into that garden until June because yeah. the snow is melting. And then we have to wait for the ground to stop being mushed so we can get the tractor in there. So we won't even be able to walk out there and get out there till June. And then we have to break down that mangled, tangled mess of a Quonset hut. So we're going to be behind, behind. So we're going to, um, I think, limit what we're doing this year. For as far as growing, yeah. Yeah, because we'll like... We'll probably just use that little Amazon. Like, let's try to grow a papaya tree in Alaska, okay? Papaya well, tree. Okay, I mean, we haven't actually done apples it. apples barely grow here, okay? And only certain ones. So we just have these ideas about all these things that we're going to plant. Peppers and all this kind of yeah, stuff. stuff. And we're not going to waste our time with that. No, year. we have such yeah. a short growing season. So we have 90 days, best case scenario, growing season. But I can't get plants in the ground on the first of those 90 days because... It takes so long for the snow to, to get out of the garden. Yeah, right. So we have to have short crops. Or yeah, short our first planting date out here is supposed to be like the 6th of June. Yeah, 6th or 7th of yeah. June. And there's no yeah. way. We yeah. usually aren't getting anything into the about June 15th. Till a week yeah. or two after or, that. Or July. If, <laughs> if we have it all together, we're right. getting it done by then. Yeah. Yeah, so. Yeah. So we'll be planning to start soon. But yeah. this year we're probably going to yeah. stick with like... Things Carrots, that, potatoes, yeah. and brassicas. Root crops, root yes. crops grow in Alaska, yeah. and quick crops like lettuce and radishes grow in Alaska. Yeah. Uh, Frank Bank uh, is asking, you started seedlings? No, not Water yet. tomatoes, la la la. No. Yes, I'm good. <laughs> I yeah, have all those tomatoes that I grew last year, those whatever, they, wherever they were from, Siberia or whatever, so, or whoever, somebody told me it, they were anyways. So I have all those seeds in the freezer, but th- there's this, you know, you're supposed to kind of start seeds eight weeks ahead of time. Well, if I start seed- seeds eight weeks ahead of time, they sit in my window or in my house for eight weeks, and they're going to get too leggy. And if they go out in the ground and survive, it's going to take them a month of transplant shock to recover. So we have to really, it, we're just really fighting a short season, and it's just what we do here. Yeah. So I'm, we're probably not even starting seeds for another week or two, because we won't be able to get them into the ground until mid-June, if I had a magic wand. Right. Yeah. yeah. Right. That was one thing that surprised us about moving out here is we only moved from Wasilla, which yeah. I mean it's half forty five minutes away, you know, but uh you lose a week of growing in the ground. At least. Yeah. At least they say you can start June first there, but June sixth or whatever here, so Yeah, this area is kinda of odd because it's comparing it to Anchorage, 
in the wintertime, it's colder and snowier. Mm-hmm. But in the summertime, it's usually warmer and drier yeah. than Anchorage. Yeah. But that colder and snowier means there's a shorter season than in Anchorage, which right. is only an hour south. Arlen! Arlen's here? Hi, Arlen! Hey. Oh, we have- We were just bragging on you, Arlen. Yeah, yeah we, we talked about you. you. We were? For being the farthest oh, yeah. Yeah. coming up person to the meetup meet meet last yeah. year. Yeah. From the Heart of Dixie. The heart of Dixie. Whoop, whoop. And Ed from the Mount Mariner is here. Hey, Ed. Hey, 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 it's Ed. Hey. Hey. Sweet. Everyone say hi to each other now. Mm-hmm. Arlen's coming to the meetup, I think. I think he's coming up again, he said, yeah. Oh, yeah, yeah he definitely is. He's Sweet. Gonna... He's going to be our furthest travel again, probably. I know it. You're right. Yeah, Two most years likely. in a row. Most likely. Like a trophy. <laughs> <laughs> well, we're at just over an hour long, so I think it's probably time to wrap it. Uh, thanks for uh, taking your time to be on my live. Yeah, so, thanks for having so, Thank you, guys. So... And don't forget, if you're not subscribed, subscribe to Flat Tire Farm Homesteading Alaska. And I have two channels, My Alaska and Digging Alaska. So definitely check them out. And check out all the channels that were posted in the chat tonight. Good night, Mike. Thank you, guys. Have a good day, everyone.